What's up YouTube? I know it's kind of late right now. However, my alcohol trip that I was on has finally wore off and um, I figured I'd film a video on a, another cigarette tutorial today. Now I have finally finished this pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes. So I figured I can film a tutorial on how to open a pack, a soft pack of cigarettes because some people, not all people, most people know who are you know, long time experienced smokers know how to open a soft pack properly, but there are those who are younger smokers, like let's say 20, 25, who have never had the chance to try a luxury cigarette like this, or well, more like a premium cigarette. A luxury cigarette is more like a uh, Philip Morris uh, Commander or English Oval. <clears throat> but I figured I would film this video for them. And um, of course I have finished this. It's been about three days since I opened it. And I have two more packs left. Again, um, all three of these packs only cost me like two bucks and 30 cents. However, um, also one uh, little side note is whenever I open them because of how humid it is where I live, I always leave the foil on. Like some people rip it off right around here, which I did. Well, actually I've never done that. Um, just because again, it's so fucking humid that if that's open all the time, like the tobacco is gonna start absorbing the uh, humidity like this is how humid it is like these packs literally start sticking together even though the humidity isn't affecting these at all because they're still sealed in their silicone wrappers um, but anyway i need to figure out which one was the older one that i purchased which i believe is this one uh, only reason why i can tell is because right here um Okay, there's some guns going off in the distance. Don't know what the fuck that's about. Anyway, um, this one was the second pack that I got, and it has the uh, little red line. It's kind of off-centered. But anyway, so first thing you're going to want to do is open your uh, cellophane wrapper. So there's a little tab right here. In case you guys didn't know, I mean, a lot of this uh, is nowhere near rocket science, but um, again, this is for those who are fairly new to smoking, and you just pull it off like that. And I always, at least on soft packs, now on hard packs, I always keep the uh, cellophane wrapped around this, and honestly, I probably could open it without taking the cellophane off, but I just, I, I just prefer to take the cellophane off. And it just comes off easily like that so now you have your fresh unopened pack of cigarettes now just fyi um cigarettes normally last about a year maybe two maybe even sometimes three or four years when they're left in this cellophane but once you open them the clock starts ticking on how fresh they are and especially if it's a soft pack like even this when it's folded down especially on a soft pack because it's always like there's always going to be gaps where air can get in there the clock starts ticking i'd say you have maybe two three months to smoke them before they start getting stale um, after that at least with soft packs now hard packs it might be a little bit longer but what i always do is i hold this blue seal down which of course you guys can see the rj reynolds um seal now some people just rip the whole top part off i i never do that um, what i do is i always go in here and just pull up this part right here like so and i'm not doing that on camera which i don't know why and i actually almost ripped believe it or not the uh, seal and honestly to me i always try to make it as perfect as possible so like to me if i ever rip the seal i'm always kind of like slightly bummed just a little bit because I always, again, like to make sure that my seal and all of that good stuff is still completely 100% intact because I am a uh, perfectionist. But then we get the other half, like that, like so, like there's little uh, metal foil and you just peel it up and rip it. And so just hold down kind of halfway firmly, not too firm, you don't want to crush your cigarettes now, guys. And you just rip that down like that. And basically that's it. Your, your cigarettes are open now. So all you have to do now is grab this little tab right in here. Pull that up. And uh, that's how you open a soft pack of cigarettes. Now, of course, 
I'm going to extend this video by uh, smoking one of these again since I finished um, the other pack. But uh, yeah, and again, I'm just looking at that just to make sure. Again, guys, I don't know what, what it is about me. I always, I, I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to high class cigarettes like these. I like no damage to the pack whatsoever um, other than opening it. So I'm very, very, very picky. Um, about how I open my packs and then you just go like that and as you guys can see we got some of our cigarettes hanging out and you just grab one pull it out and then what I do tap them back in there or shove them in there with your finger Whichever you prefer to do, and then I always fold this back down like that again because it's so fucking humid here. Like just after I film this video, this this uh, pack is already going to start bowing out because of just how humid and moist it is in the air. Because we get thunderstorms almost every fucking day, and it, like right now it is actually extremely foggy, which you can't tell because under this carport there isn't really much of any fog whatsoever. But uh, yeah, so that's a finished pack. And again, I'm saving these uh, for a little project, which I'll be featuring once I actually start uh, start the project with these. And this is the freshly opened pack that now only has 19 cigarettes in it. And this is a, I just dropped my cigarette. This is a completely sealed pack. Now again, with lighting your cigarette, um, I always, Tapper a few times. Just get all that tobacco pushed um, just a little bit away from your lip. Um, just again to minimize. And I just drop that again. Man, I'm fucking this all up, guys. But anyway, so that's how you, at least where I am, that's how I properly um, open a soft pack of cigarettes without damaging the uh, seal or anything like that. And again, most people like up where Zippo Fanatic lives because they're, I I'm guessing at least, there isn't as much uh, heat and humidity. Um, you could probably, especially in the wintertime, like even in the wintertime here, I probably will rip off this foil, but at least for now, because of how much rain we've been having and how humid it is, this really helps protect your cigarettes and uh, make them last just a little bit longer. So we can go ahead and get this cigarette lit up. But uh, yeah. Okay, that was kind of a fail. I was attempting to do a ghost. And again, guys, I am, I mean, uh, the alcohol that I drank earlier is mostly worn off now, but uh, there still is a little bit left in my system. So, you know, that's always fun. Guys, I cannot ghost to save my life. And actually, it's getting foggier. As I'm sitting here making this video in the middle of the night. L let me try one more time. Okay, that wasn't a ghost. There it is. It's harder to do a ghost when you're drunk. <laughs> or, well, more like hungover at this point. But I'm not really that hungover. Because I don't have a headache. But. I can already tell. Since the uh, alcohol has worn off. They're not as harsh. As the last couple of cigarettes on these. So. That's the thing, if you're gonna be smoking soft packs like these, definitely, like, I don't even know if it's good to wait three days 
um, and try to make them last just because the cigarettes um, go bad so fastly. And there's my favorite Yahoo um, with his um, little motorbike. And again, guys, that guy sometimes comes down here in like 2 a.m. in the fucking morning and just revs his bike as loud as he can. And I'm like, you are really pissing me off, bro. Like there is no, like in my honest opinion, there is no reason you need to drive your fucking motorbike all the way over here just so you can rev your engine to wake people up and irritate them. But, uh... That's just how it be sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So that's basically my tutorial on how at least I open a soft pack of cigarettes. I did the same thing, left the foil on, um, on my pack of soft pack of camel filters and tomorrow I will be purchasing a pack of camel unfiltered so there probably will be a review of those up tomorrow or the next day I am unsure but again I'm not always going to be able to pick them up for like two bucks and some change basically uh, they explained to me like the only time that they're willing to do that is again mainly because they don't make much money off of cigarettes like these because not many people smoke them anymore and b um because of taxes like they only make like 30 cents every time they sell a pack of these but still like like basically rounded up to six dollars a pack for a pack of camel unfiltered i mean again like walmart they want fucking almost 10 but and after tax i can guarantee you it'd be over ten dollars a pack in my area which is out the ass ridiculous like who especially in this area and again walmart pissed me off even further than just having ridiculously markups on their cigarettes and the reason why they have markups is because unlike this tobacco store i go to and as you guys can see it is starting to bow out like right here and that is due to humidity so um definitely after i film this video i'm mainly going to be keeping these inside like what i normally go come out here and i'm not filming a video i don't even bring this pack out i just take a cigarette out and then walk outside with it because the humidity is so bad that um it will just you know destroy your cigarettes quite fast and uh no one wants to be smoking destroyed cigarettes or stale cigarettes that's just not cool man But, um, yeah, so anyway, on to the, uh, back to what I was saying with the tobacco store. Um, only time they basically said from now on that they'll sell me a pack of these for two bucks is if that's literally all I have and it's like change or something. Like, again, I came in with three bucks and change, but they're always cool, so, and they know I'm a loyal customer. Like, they're one of the tobacco stores that, like, depending on what kind of person you are and what attitude you have with them, depends on whether they're going to be willing to you know do certain things you know mark down the cigarettes for you and shit like that i'm always polite in there always talking with them chatting almost every break i take on my work i go in there and talk to whatever employee is uh sitting in there so but they know i'm a customer that comes back mainly because the cigarettes are cheap. Again, like even at $6 a pack, you really can't beat that. Because again, if Walmart carried these, they'd want like $11 a pack for these plus tax, I can guarantee you. And again, the morons at Walmart, oh, we don't have those cigarettes. And then I go in there two days later and they still have several of them sitting there on the bottom shelf. Now, granted, they weren't segregated by themselves anymore they were mixed in so i can kind of see why maybe even if they looked a little bit but i mean honestly if you have them and you don't find them and you just say oh we don't have those like you're not looking hard enough in my opinion but uh yeah they're never getting my business for cigarettes anymore
Man, I almost had a gag reflex there. <clears throat> but yeah. But yeah, figured I'd just make this video just because I really don't have any other videos to make today. And I was like, well, about to open a new pack, so I might as well show on my channel at least how I open a pack, uh, or well, a soft pack of cigarettes the air quote proper way. But in my opinion, there really isn't like a strict, like it's not like a strict set of rules. Oh, you must open your soft pack of cigarettes this way. Otherwise you're, excuse me. Otherwise you're not a real smoker. That's bullshit. You can open your pack any way you want, but this is just how I open them. And this video is mainly for those who don't want to have to rip the seal and, you know, just rip open this entire top part. Because if you rip open this entire top part, the cigarettes are going to go bad within, like I said, like a week or two, honestly. Like, I, I doubt they'd even last a month because these started getting harsher. And they might be older cigarettes, for all I know. They could have been sitting in there for a year and a half. Who knows? But, um... This one is much more fresh than the last two that I had out of this pack, so that's always nice. When you open that fresh pack of cigarettes. But, uh, yeah. So I got maybe like two drags left on this cigarette. The tobacco is starting to fall out this end. So I'm going to go ahead and once again pull out the loose tobacco. Again, just to avoid getting any of it in my mouth, because that's, again, a major drawback of non-filtered cigarettes. And yeah, I got like one hit left. But yeah, so that's going to be the video, guys, and just another example of how bad the humidity is. This is actually starting to get soggy just sitting out here, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and end the video here so I can bring these cigarettes back inside. But if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything you do helps, and I'll see you in the next video.